we all kind of had a little bit of input on this. And so some of you may remember things uh, that we didn't. So there will be an opportunity when I'm done for you guys to uh, share some of your memories. So start thinking. So Samuel Dean Emensizer passed away peacefully at 11.30 p.m. on March 21st, 2022 in Grants Pass. He was 95 years old. Sam grew up in Weimar. He grew up in a very different time. He didn't have electricity in his home until 1953. There was no indoor plumbing and water was hauled up from a nearby stream. Sam remembered goat pulled wagons and horses pulling buggies. Sam met Marilyn in high school and liked to kick her chair to get her to pay attention to him. <laughs> he graduated from Rogue River High School in 1944. Soon after graduating high school, Sam joined the Army, serving stateside as a medic in an Army hospital in Washington State. Near the end of World War II, Sam and Marilyn decided to get married. Because their love was young, Sam was required to have his mother, Susie Emensizer, provide written consent for the marriage. Marilyn and Sam were soon expecting after, their, uh, after they were married, and they were expecting their first child, Johnny. Because Marilyn was expecting, the Army allowed Sam to be discharged from military service. Sam and Marilyn moved back to Weimar, where they lived in a little country shack, the one uh, many times created by Sam as a birdhouse. <laughs> Sam and Marilyn, uh, Sam, Marilyn, and Johnny lived a simple life along the banks of Evans Creek with extended family. You see the picture up above, that's kind of an example, and one of them's here. Jan's here, she's in the picture. And uh, they really enjoyed this way of life. Uh, Sam provided for his family by working in the woods, driving log trucks, and they oftentimes would visit their favorite recreation area, Elderberry Flats. Sam and Marilyn added a second son to the family when they adopted Thomas. And Thomas was born deaf and uh, had very limited opportunities for schooling here in the Evans Valley. Sam packed his family up and they moved to Milwaukee, Oregon, where there was a school for deaf children. Sam secured a job uh, as a uh, truck driver working for McCracken Trucking in Portland. Sam's daily route would take him from Portland to Eugene, back to Portland, and to Eugene, and finally home to Portland again. Sam suggested to his employer that he start hauling triple trailers to increase his efficiency of his trips, and he continued driving until he retired to several million miles driven with a perfect driving record. Sam has spent many days hunting and fishing with family and enjoying the great outdoors. He was an amazing work, uh, woodworker and made beautiful birdhouses, among other things. He had a huge garden when they lived in Milwaukee. Sam and Marilyn devoted countless hours to community service and volunteered to run the Woodville Museum in Rogue River. In July of 2014, Sam and Marilyn were selected as the Grand Marshal of the Rogue River 61st National Rooster Crow. Sam was preceded in death by both of his sons and the love of his Love of his life in Maryland. Sam was survived by his grandkids, Judy Shemek, Rebecca Moran, Roger Evensizer, Tom Evensizer, and Gray Evensizer. Sam and Marilyn made many friends along the way, many of who are now gone. Sam and Marilyn are now reunited, reunited, and have left us with an example of lives well lived. Okay. So, <laughs> guys, you probably have way more memories than I do, so anybody interested in telling some good stories about Sam, they can be funny. <laughs>
which is pretty exciting. And uh, it says, Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a, beautif a bride beautifully dressed for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Look, God's dwelling place is now among the people, and he will dwell with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. He who was seated on the throne said, I am making everything new. Then he said, Write this down, for these words are trustworthy and true. He said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give water without cost from the spring of the water of life. Those who are victorious will inherit all this, and I will be their God, and they will be my children. And it goes on talking about what the new city is going to look like, the mm -hmm. You know, streets of sapphire and gold, and it's just an amazing description of like our eternal dwelling place. So, um, I can't wait to get there. I don't know about <laughs> you, but <laughs> this looks pretty drab compared to oh, yeah. what's coming. So, that's awesome. I said that a while ago.